Yeah, hello everybody, uh, Jay Goldman here, uh, Head Analyst, FM Trader, a uh, new video for you all, and today I'm going to be talking about something that's relevant uh, for this time frame. Uh, it's about trading stocks, and I'm talking about earning reports. Okay, earning reports, and here I'm going to put my next screen. It's uh, this month, uh, October, uh, earning report season is starting, and what does that mean? Uh, every uh, publicly traded company must divulge their pro their profits, meaning every quarter uh, they need to uh, release, you know, what revenue they made, how many profits, what their total profit was or loss, if there's a loss, and uh, profit per share also. Okay, uh, based on these reports, investors know the financial state of the company they're investing in. All right, now. Um, these reports can really have a great impact on that specific company and I'll tell you more than that they also can have a great impact on the entire market so if we see a series of good reports or a series of bad reports that can pretty much carry the market you know to this to that specific direction okay so this is a very important time in Wall Street now uh, it's great because this is a time where traders have a lot more information than they usually have, okay? Because when they, they, they're getting the earning reports, you know, it's like, uh, you know, so we know the status of that specific company, all right? Now, let me show you a great example of what happened last uh, earning report on Facebook, all right? This is a very good example of what we saw uh, back in July, okay? Uh, here, so here we see Facebook released their earning reports uh, last quarter. Now, as you can see, the stock, each share was worth $26 before the report came out. A day after the report came out, as you can see here, their stock was trading at 36 per share, all right, meaning about a 20, over a 20% increase in the value of their stock. Now, this is how powerful and how, how uh, important a, a, a good earning report is. Okay, now Facebook is only the, you know, their initial public offering was about uh, two years ago, a year and a half ago, and it opened at $45 per share. That was their initial stock price. Now, since then, it only went down. It, it reached almost, I think, 18 or $17 per share, and it was kind of like, uh, you know, not doing that much until we got this earning report. It jumped up their stock for the, for the previous, for the very short time frame, but not only that, look what happened, look what the stock has done since that. Okay, uh, a few weeks ago, Facebook actually reached reached a fifty-one dollars per share, which was its all-time high. Okay, and this is much pretty much based just on their earning report. Okay, so you can see, uh, you know, how much potential we have here uh, to make a great, uh, you know, great trades. Now, I'm going to show you the upcoming uh, uh, events for October and what we have going on. So, on the sixteenth of October, we got uh, IBM and eBay. Okay, we're uh, reporting. Then the next day we got Google and Goldman Sachs. A couple days after that, Netflix, McDonald's, and Wynn Resorts. Uh, October 28th, Apple, Las Vegas Suns, and Groupon. And October 30th, General Motors and Facebook. This is just some events that I kind of highlighted uh, of companies that I'm looking at. Okay, and uh, it will be very interesting to see, um, you know, to see what kind of uh, reports these companies uh, produce. Now, um, like I said, if, you, if we get a series, let's say a, a day like uh, October 16th, where both IBM and eBay, let's say, either produce uh, good results uh, or bad results, uh, we can see the whole NASDAQ, you know, the whole NASDAQ, uh, you know, drag up or down according to these results. Okay, so um, these are, I think, are the most, uh, you know, these are the reports that I'm looking forward for. And, uh, you know, and if uh, you want in, I want in. Uh, if you guys want to trade this and, uh, you know, get our input. And uh, so come up and join us, obviously. I don't want you guys to miss out. This could be a great month of trading. Uh, send an email to uh, support at fmtrader.com. If you have a broker, call your broker, ask him. Or you can even, you know what, send me an email, j.g at fmtrader.com. You know, if you guys want to, you know, get my input. I'll always be happy to help you, and um, that's about it for this video, and uh, I do hope that everybody joins us, and this could be a great month, so uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon.